Hey guys, so Chain here from Laser Gaming. In this video, we will be comparing the RO933.300 BLK, the new assault rifle version of the RO933, to the regular RO933. So I am really excited for this weapon comparison. Um, these weapons were just added to the CTE, but it is 7 in the morning right now, and nobody was on the CTE, so I'm just sort of going to do an overall weapon comparison, and I'll bring you a full weapon comparison later when I can actually get footage of these guns against other people. Now, in this DLC, you can also see there were night vision goggles added, which I will overview at a later date, probably tomorrow afternoon or today, something like that. But uh, today we're focusing on the RO933 assault rifle versus the RO933 carbine. It actually seems to be a pretty close battle right off the bat. So right here, we're sl we've selected the RO933 BLK, and uh, when you scroll down to the RO933, you can directly compare their stats. So... You can see the R933 BLK seems to have almost twice as much damage. It has better accuracy, but for some reason the assault rifle has worse range, worse control, and a worse fire rate. The worse control is very noticeable, and the range, obviously I couldn't tell when you're not shooting at targets. But so one more thing I did notice is that you cannot add any barrels to the R933 BLK. It has a built-in suppressor. So I'm just gonna fire against this truck here with the R933 base variant. I'm gonna have in the top right corner which gun I'm using. And now I'm gonna fire at this truck right next to it with the R933 BLK. And I'm trying to control the recoil right here. If I was letting it go, it would go a lot higher. But to, now I'm gonna run up and show you sort of the side-by-side -side recoil. Now the R933 BLK sort of pulls a bit to the right, uh, but you're gonna see it right here, and then you're gonna see it with night vision goggles on are fairly useless during the day but hopefully they're a lot better during the night so as you can see there the r933 blk does have a significant amount of recoil and at the end of this video i'm going to have some gameplay with the cool camos that just came there's a red metallic one and a green metallic one but uh, yeah these weapons are, seem to be a very close comparison i will fully in-depth compare these with damage models weapon drop off stuff like that but for the time being we do not have that so it just seems that the R933 has a slower fire rate and higher damage. Are the two, I wouldn't say slower fire rate, a bigger advantage, but with this much recoil, it's easier to control. They have the same magazine size, uh, same reload speed, it seems at least. And the R933 BLK also has a built-in suppressor, which can be a benefit or a disadvantage because you can't put something like the compensator on this weapon. I do hope you guys did enjoy this we weapon comparison. If you aren't already, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more Battlefield Hardline content and to get the early news on everything that comes out for this game. If you guys enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.